Y'all gonna have to disregard my messy mess of a mess of a mess bed. But, you know, I have this on my chest. If you see anything move, just know that my house is haunted. I am wearing no bra. I'm in my pajamas with my do-rag on. Like, I am just completely over it. Usually, whenever I make YouTube videos, I try to look my best presentable self. But I can't do it in this video. Um, In my latest video, right... Or, oh by the way hi fan so basically in my latest video I discussed how love and hip-hop sucks because uh, Jocelyn's or Jocelyn Hernandez's whole storyline for this season is to be a fat phobic ass hoe and I'm tired of it but now I'm gonna discuss how Hollywood is colorist and how probably me being very outspoken about it is probably gonna damage my career but I don't give a fuck, because someone needs to say it, and I gotta be that person. I mean, I, I mean, everyone, or a lot of black people, went on Twitter to speak their piece about it, but I want to do it on YouTube so you can vocally hear me. Because I'm tired of typing rants, <laughs> like I really am, so, yeah. First of all, I am here no introduction needed because i'm tired of watching romance films or whatever that are supposed to have like an interracial couple narrative but y'all fail to cast black girls i i don't understand why hollywood in the 2010s decade was like fuck black girls we gonna get the biracial 3a type girls and i'm just like yo first of all there's a lot of people who look like that but majority of black women don't they don't a lot of black women because y'all keep casting biracial light-skinned women right a lot of black girls who are light-skinned and have darker-skinned families deserve films where they are represented. However, comma, you cannot be casting Yara Shahidi as the Jamaican immigrant daughter of Jamaican immigrants when the rest of the family are dark-skinned type four people. What? At least have a little backstory as to why she's the light-skinned one, but she's not even light-skinned in the story. Whenever I have the chance, I always like to do projects on colorism in school. The reason why is because, one, I had a dark-skinned friend who educated my ignorant ass on colorism to the point where now I fight hard for colorism to be demolished. I hate it. It's disrespectful. It's disgusting. And I hate it, right? For what reason do you not like me? For what reason do you not like my skin tone? You don't like my hair type? Mind you, I'm a 3C, 4A type girl, right? But like still though, like you don't like me. I already know you don't like me because I'm fat, but you don't like me because of my skin tone. If I lost all this vajiggle jaggle, you still wouldn't like me because one, I have a gap and two, I'm black. But I'm a brown-skinned girl. I'm not even dark-skinned. I am brown-skinned. And because of that, right, I am genuinely concerned and confused as to why Hollywood has turned a blind eye to blackness and only uses us when they know they need diversity. So, they ain't, well, they don't even include us. They just shove diversity. Be like, ah, you're here. I guess it's inclusion, but they're not really listening to our stories or making us a full part of the story. Like, ew. It's gross. 
Like what? Like in Love, Simon. They casted that girl. I don't know her name because she's irrelevant to me. But basically, she was this light-skinned girl. And like when you saw her, I'm guessing her character had to be biracial. But like, could we like have a little backstory on some people? You can't just throw biracials in a story and just allow us to like guesstimate if they are supposed to be black or biracial because one you have light-skinned people who exist you have light-skinned people who have darker family members parents etc but along with that you have biracial people who have biracial families please make content for those biracial people and also allow black people to have fucking films where they have black families that resemble them like the whole 2010s decade i barely saw any dark skinned girls and when i did they were hella skinny and then i would be like yo y'all don't have no brown skinned girls y'all don't have no big dark skinned girls and whenever they do have a dark skinned big girl she's always made fun of like can we please get our shit together, Hollywood? Y'all are pathetic. And all the boomers and the people who are older than the fucking boomers are like, you know, running Hollywood. I, I'm ready for y'all to go because y'all suck. Whoever is in charge of these casting calls really do suck. And if you're an author, please, if you're going to make a story... You better stick true to the story and you better cast the right people for your story before you end up regretting it like the author of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and how he realized that the casting call called for a fucking white man to play the part of a Korean or Asian man as the part of Scott Pilgrim instead of an Asian man. Got to do better. Diversity matters inclusion matters but don't just include us just to not look racist include us because you actually care i am tired i am sick i'm sick it's disgusting and i couldn't even go to sleep on it because one i was trying to get over my fear of watching romance films because they make me cringe and they remind me i'm single and i'm like ew it's gross grossy gross and so I was like, oh, I'm going to watch a whole bunch of cringy romance films that the 2010s made because a lot of them were fucking cringy. And I just wanted to move past it, move past my fear of romance films, right? And so I was looking for a bunch, but, like, I had to pay for them. And I was like, yo, like, I know there are some on on demand because I have podcasts. And so I'm just stuff, like, I know there are some that are free on demand. And so the first one I saw was the sun is also a star and i was like oh that's the movie that i wanted to see but then i realized that they casted yara shahidi as the girl mind you i read the first chapter of the sun is also a star and i have also read the hate that you give right reading both of those stories and i think they are written by the same author girl sis whoever you are you better get your shit together because if i'm an author and i'm making a story you better cast who i want to be the main character and she like i think she ended up making a statement that she was like yeah i want a, um, amanda steinberg to play the character of St uh, star da -da 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 -da. and i'm like why you cannot have a dark-skinned girl with a big afro as the cover art on your book when you don't want that for a star. And when you read the story, it's descriptive on how the character looks. So I'm just of like, star. When I think about star and her family, I think of like a dark-skinned man as the father right i think about like a middle brown middle light skinned mom right 
Because I think she said her mom was light-skinned, but, like, they didn't say that she was pale, but she wasn't tan. So I put her in the middle. And then Star is, like, in the middle of those two. But she kind of resembles, like, she's a mixture of both of her parents, right? So that's what I think about. I think about, oh, she probably, like, brown-skinned. She probably a little dark-skinned. But, like, yeah, she looked like her mom. And so, for me, I like to read, I don't even like reading books, to be honest, but, like, when the casting is shit, then it forces me to read the story. Because then I'm like, yo, who told you this was okay? So, basically, Hollywood, please. This is not even a please. Hollywood, if you don't get your shit together... People can really just start moving to Africa. Because at least there, they have better, you know, representation for black people. Since y'all really hate us now, apparently. It's not even you hate us. It's not even a us. You hate black women. Hollywood, you hate black women so much. It's ridiculous. You only have one, like, black girl who's really in these white CW shows. And that's the girl who plays Josie. Like, can we please? It's not even a please. I'm not begging you. What you're gonna do is start listening to the millennials and the Gen Zers who have been telling y'all for years now that y'all don't like us black women. But what you're gonna do is start putting us in these films because we deserve better. Why was the 90s full of representation but now y'all don't like us and all you're gonna do is shove biracial people down my throat? why why and then you're gonna try to pass them off as black why like why and then you also have to take into accountability the actors or actresses sorry i don't care about the men the actresses why why do you care about the actors too because like i feel like they always cast dark-skinned men to cat like to play very masculine roles and not light-skinned men and they only cast light-skinned men to be feminine as fuck but like there's a lot of extra ass masculine light-skinned men but y'all just refuse to see them in that way because they're light-skinned like why are always third good marshall films having a darker skinned man play third good marshall when you know third good marshall was a light-skinned man why why because y'all corny that's why it's gross. Stop being colorist. Dang. It's irritating. I'm not begging you. I'm telling you. Stop it. Get some help. Sheesh. Dang. And y'all wonder why people really don't care about the media no more. Because, one, y'all don't even want to cast us. Y'all act like it's a task. And then, on top of that, y'all really don't even care about our hair. Like, why should black actresses go out of their way to get their hair done and their makeup done for their fucking, um, film or show or whatever on their own coin because y'all don't know how to do our hair? Start getting black hairstylists. Tyler Berry! Start getting black hairstylists. Start getting good stylist period especially for plus size people start getting better stylists for plus size people people in general make it diverse i want to see alternative gothic um aesthetic um is there anything else sporty you know i want to see all types of fucking aesthetics for black people in the 2020s you know because that's ridiculous i'm 19 baby I look at the 90s and I be like, yo, their representation was fire. And I look now and I'm like, damn, our shit trash. How you go from being peak representation to being into the trash can? Make it make sense.